Okay, just so you know, this is what it looks like when it's all done. So constant of proportionality. So when uh, two quantities, I'll just put the number two, or you can think of units, when two quantities are proportional, and there's the word right, well, there's part of the word, when two quantities are proportional, there, unit rate, well that's sloppy, is called dun, 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 right up here. That's what it's called. So I'm just going to, I need more room so I'll just uh, write it here. Constant of Proportionality. It's right there if you want to spell it. Proportion, proportional, itty, proportionality. All right, and so basically they're the same, mean the same thing, or they come out the same value, rather, I should say. So, unit rate. And constant of proportionality are the same value. It's the same number when they're proportional. One other thing is that sometimes they give this a variable for constant proportionality, and they'll give it the variable k. I don't know why they chose that, but they do. They give it the variable k. All right, so how do we find this? I, and I put a little star or a little asterisk right there. Or you can put a star or something. Okay, so I'm going to say to find. Actually, you're going to calculate. Now, I'm going to use these COP to find COP, constant of proportionality, because I certainly don't want to write all that out. COP. Yeah, to find COP. Constant of proportionality, what do we do? Divide, why do I, why can't I spell, sorry, late. Divide any pair y over X. The reason why I say pair because I want to make sure you use the right Y and X. Okay, this is one way to find it, and let's let's just work this out. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little table here. It's not going to take up too much room. Little X Y table, and I'm going to put two, eight, three, twelve. 4, 16, I'll put one more in there, 5 and 20. We'll use this to illustrate. Okay, so we said to find constant proportionality, COP, divide any pair of Y over X. Okay, so I can take any Y divided by any pair, Y over X. Any one of these, I can do that and find the answer. You know what? I'm just going to use this bottom one right here because we're going to, we'll use the other ones later, but this one right here, I'm going to use this. So if I take y over x and I'm using this pair right here, that makes it 20 over 5. 20 divided by 5 is just 4. 4 would be our constant of proportionality, also known as unit rate. Except we don't have any units in here. We don't have any 
units of measurement. And notice that if I take any one of these, I would still get 4. 12 divided by 3, 4. 8 divided by 2, 4. See that? Any one of these would work. Okay, here's our second way to find COP, constant of proportionality. So I just put another asterisk there. Why? I should have capitalized that. And I'm going to say the same thing above. To find COP, I like using a small o, right? Uh, I will divide. It's a little bit different now. Okay, now I'm going to use this symbol. Don't freak out on me. And it's this. See this little triangle right here? Just a minute. It stands for change. Change. So, this means change. We use a lot in science and in math. So, the change of y over the change of x. The change of y over the change of x. Okay, now I, I put the same table. You're still going to need just a little bit of room underneath it, but just a tiny bit. But I did this table again, one more time. Same numbers. And I'm going to kind of separate it like this. Hopefully you're a little neater than I, you're probably a little neater. When I look at your guys' notes and your papers, you're very neat, many of you. And why did I put an, a Y there, an X? That's crazy. That makes no sense whatsoever. This is a Y. My X's and my Y's. Okay, so what I want to do is to find the constant of proportionality, divide the change of Y over the change of X. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that to go from here to there, it changed by 4. And then to go from 12 to 16, it changed by 4. And to go from 16 to 20, it changed by 4. It went up 4 each time. All right, so this is for the changes in y. That's the changes in y. It went 4. It changed by 4. Now let's look at the x's. To go from 2 to 3, right, it just changed by 1. 3 to 4, 1. 4 to 5, 1. Just went up by 1. So the change of x is just 1. So now, if I take the change of y, you'll do this a lot next year, over the change of x, it is 4 over 1. Well, that is just 4. It's the same answer. It's the same answer as we got up here. It works. Okay, one last thing, and then we're done. I'm just going to put a little squiggly line here. It's the last thing. And that's this. To write an equation, equation is E Q U A T I O N. To write an equation, it's going to be Y equals. And this symbol here, K, X. Okay, what about that K? If you remember before, and I'm going to just write it here, we have the words unit rate, unit rate, and we also have the words 
constant of proportionality. They mean the same thing. If you want to abbreviate, go ahead. I'm going to spell it out, though, because I need practice. Constant of pro port I O N L T constant of proportionality, right? These two things mean the same. They need the same unit rate, constant of proportionality. Those things right there, whatever that is, that goes right there, whatever number that is. So looking above, that number was four, wasn't it? Right? The constant of proportionality, the unit rate was four. So in our equation for that, we would say y equals four goes right there. That is the equation for that data that's above. So just backing up a little bit, what are we doing here? We're finding constant of proportionality. How do we, another name for unit rate. How do we do it? You can divide any y over x, any one, or you can find the change. How much is it changing? Y over x. And to write an equation, you just say y equals whatever that number is, x. And that is the equation.